I'm Bobby T. I own Sleepy Hollow Tattoo. Uh, I've been tattooing for 18 years and I've been owning this place for 14. Sleepy Hollow Studios means to me, um, I wanted a name that didn't really sound like a tattoo shop. I wanted more like an art gallery or an atmospheric kind of name and uh, sleep, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving was my favorite story growing up, The Headless Horseman. So um, <clears throat> yeah, Sleepy Hollow Studio, when I first named it, uh, it's three words, six letters a piece, so 666. Six, six. I was really into my metal phase right then, so everything kind of had a meaning, kind of went back to that number. So how did this all begin? Uh, basically I was going to art school, mm -hmm. I was going to Sheridan College uh, for classical animation special effects, and I was driving from here to school every day. So it's starting to wear on me. I needed money. Um, I got a job offer at the tattoo shop, and I took it. So going to school, doing the tattoo thing on the side, um, it was just starting to get too much, too heavy of a workload. So I just quit school and started tattooing full time, and it worked out. The first way that I would start the tattoo process is I'd kind of ask you about your interest. What are you into? Um, so I get people to do Google searches, uh, give me a list of things that they're interested in. Um, you know, what's your hobbies? What, what's something that you're going to want on your body forever that's never going to change? And then when they give me that general idea, I can usually run with it. It doesn't have to be concrete. So I don't draw something so outlandish that they're just going to be super afraid of it and they say no. I try and keep it classic, uh, something that's going to be timeless forever. Uh, I try and sway away from kind of trends that are happening right now and kind of go with the images that have always been there and always going to be cool. My favorite style is probably the neo-traditional which is traditional imagery uh, with different line weights and more colors than traditional just regular traditional tattooing and I love Japanese stuff um, it's classic it never goes out of style it looks great on the body um, so. my specific art form that I tattoo in uh, I'm kind of a jack of all trades I can do anything so from portraits to Japanese to neo-traditional to traditional um, I mainly specialize in color stuff that's the stuff I enjoy the most but I can do black work just as easy so um, whenever somebody comes with through the door, I can do it.